Greetings all and welcome back to the channel for the Wednesday updates on some of the latest handheld devices. And today we're looking at the INU Pocket DMG, INU's entry into the vertical handheld market. So the first thing to note is that it's got a very premium and sleek design. This is true of all of INU's devices. They kind of go for that upper tier market segment where the price is also upper tier, unfortunately. But really looking nice. The texture on the plastic looks brilliant. So for people who like vertical handhelds, this should be a real interesting little unit. Um, let's have a look at the specs to see what is actually inside this unit. So first up, it's obviously got active cooling. And then next to the wall sensing stick is a trackpad. So this is a bit of a gamble to me. I'm not sure whether or not this is going to be a good thing or a bad thing. A lot of people online are saying that you should be able to configure the trackpad as a second wall sensing stick for FPS games. That may work, probably Android games. I'm not too sure about retro gaming, especially not streaming. I would like to see what uh, the hands-on reviewers have to say when they get some experience with the unit first before I say that this is going to be a good or a bad thing. It also has this little side wheel on the side here, which you will be able to use to interact with the system. So you should be able to use that to change the brightness levels and quite possibly scroll through menus, uh, which would be more convenient than using the touchscreen, but you will also have that touchpad. So we'll have to wait and see how that plays out, whether or not it's an actual plus or not. It's going to come out with the Snapdragon G3X Gen 2 chipset. The unit will have a 6000 mAh battery, which should give you some proper playtime. Uh, anywhere from 7 to 10 hours on older retro games, I'm guessing. Another thing that's got me interested are the triggers, which they are calling coastline shoulder buttons. So these look really, really comfortable. They slim down. Look at that. That looks like it will slip in and out of your pocket without any problems. I'm guessing that these are inline triggers, which means that this will have a button that can activate as well. Could be wrong on that. Uh, once again, we'll have to wait and see. Lastly, the unit will have a 3.92 inch OLED display with a resolution of 1240 by 480, which should make for some very crisp visuals on older games and on newer Android games as well. If we go and look at the pricing, the early bit price is $339. That actually caught my attention. I'm not aware of this chipset being available in a device at that price. So really good price there, but I wouldn't want to just order it without seeing any tests and proper usage of the unit. So unfortunately, the official retail price is going to be $100 more, and that just makes it undoable for me. I would rather at that stage go for an Odin 2, which has got the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset that can run everything that this chipset can run. It's just in a horizontal form factor without that OLED display. It's not vertical, obviously. So I would rather opt for the Odin 2 at that stage. Let me know what you think about it. Would you rather have a vertical handout with such a powerful chipset and such a premium look, or would you rather go for the Odin 2? Let me know in the comments. I'd like to hear what you're thinking. Also, I'll link a video uh, to the INU Pocket S that you can go and have a look on, my overview of that. Thanks for watching. That's it for this one, and I'll catch you in the next tech update.